I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I had an identity crisis as I do probably like every single week specifically. This was an identity crisis regarding my dance life world attire just all of the above this drawer is filled with dance clothes that i don't feel represent me anymore which is such a stupid thing to say but what we're going to do today is we're going to go through all these old leotards i spent all summer sewing these leotards and it's had no reward and i'm not feeling bitter about that at all but i've noticed that i prefer baggier clothes now i wore a leotard to my first class back at uni yesterday it was an uncomfortable experience let's whack this bad boy open all my posture <laughs> we're just going to do a massive clear out and all of this stuff will be available at my depop which I will link here and in my description. We're gonna start with this one. This is a leotard that I I like, but it's never comfy. I remember like the last time I wore this in class, I was constantly like this because I felt like I was exposed because it was quite a low cut for a leotard, which is actually not a low cut. I just prefer really high necks and it shows. Everyone thought it was cute on my last leotard video. Like, the top comment on that leotard video was, oh my God, that pink one's so cute, which I agree with, but I don't feel comfortable in it. This is going in a maiden pile. Oh my God, this leotard I'm in love with. It's high neck. It's everything you want a leotard and it's like a dark, but it's like a bam color. You know, a good audition staple. So this one's gonna stay. So it's the same, it's a custom made high neck. There's a common trait here, it's just high neck stuff. This is a nice one, got a nice material and it's custom made so that one's not going anywhere. This one is a wear moi one. I really love wear moi leotards, they are very comfy. I actually haven't worn this one in a class yet because I bought this over quarantine. But this one is also going to stay. As I said in my leotard video, this is one of my favourite leotards ever. These straps are a bit thicker and I think they're more supportive and it's not that high of a neck but it is. It's like a nice square neckline, I don't feel exposed which is the important part so this one is also going to stay. This little wear moi one, it's just a black one, it's like the only black leotard I have, therefore it must stay. This is a, a purple Morella one, I don't like this one, it does look cool and it's got some cool details on it, but it's not the comfiest leotard and plus if I'm not wearing a leotard every day anymore, there's no point me having this many. So this one is also going to be on my Depop. This one is a staple, if you guys have ever seen me in any of my dance videos, I'm probably wearing this leotard at some point. It's very comfy, it's the only cotton leotard I have, I'm going to keep this one because it's a staple. I have this, it's basically the same as the black Morella one, but it's like a khaki high neck. We love her, we're gonna keep her because she's handy. This one is my lucky leotard edition, it's also the only other black leotard I have that's got strap so this one's very comfy as well. I haven't worn this one in years though so maybe I should probably start doing that again but also my class content doesn't require me to wear a leotard anymore. We'll keep it because then we can always throw it out later rather than we can't buy it back if we throw it out. Okay this one I'm severely debating. This is the long sleeve one. It is really classical and it's a really pretty leotard for like ballet classes and it's long sleeve but it doesn't fit me and I'm scared to sew mesh because I know if I do it it's gonna rip so I'm really not sure what to do about this one. I want to keep it. I'm hoping I'll grow the boobs to fill the space that will make it not too big. And then obviously we're going to keep the costume bases because that's a vital must. Also in here we just have like an insane abundance of tights but I'm assuming these will come in handy for like shows and performances. They're essential anyway so I'm not going to get rid of them. Why do I have as many tights? Alright, sports bras. I have a love-hate relationship with sports bras because I've stopped wearing bras but I understand that I need to be decent in a class and if I do an aerial or something upside down-ish then I don't want to be flushing the entire class because I wear crop tops as well. I wish we don't have to wear bras at all. I see boy chests all the time in class but I can't show mine. I don't have boobs. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna sort through these and see what ones we can get rid of. This one's my favourite ever one. This one is like the most comfortable one. It's actually really flattering the shape of it and it's very supportive considering I don't have any boobs to support but I still feel the support. If that makes any sense, probably not but I'm gonna keep this one. Next one up is this Gymshark one. This one is part of the energy set but if I'm honest I don't wear this one a lot because the bra cups just concave it's just very well worn and I don't think I'm going to be able to resell it anyway. I think we'll have to keep this one. This one is another one. This is one my sister gave me. It's an old Gymshark one and it's actually quite a feminine shape. It's got like a nice little v-neck kind of vibe. You can't see. It overlaps at the front. It's like two separate portions and this one is very comfortable. We're going to keep her. This one, this is my lucky bra so I have a lucky leotard and a lucky bra. Every audition I've worn this sports bra I've gone which is quite sick. I'm going to keep her for the vibes and plus she's also limited edition under armour and it's bright orange and people who know me know that bright orange is my absolute favourite colour because it's so obnoxious and I love it. I'm going to keep her. She is a bit small but my boobs aren't going to grow so may as well keep her and take her out for a ride. This is an old Adidas leotard. Now I do love these high neck leotards but I have an issue with sports bras that have cups like this. You know when they're actually like shaped when you can flip them in and out. Those ones are a bit weird. I just honestly do not have the boob space to fill even that so they kind of always look a bit weird. I'm going to see if I can get ones that are just flat cup. They're not like the ones that are like like that but like the ones that are like that and they just like flop. There's no point me keeping it because I won't wear 
wear it because I get nervous about that. So I am going to get rid of this one as well on my Depop. This one is what I mean by high neck. This one's a really cool sports bra. I don't wear it a lot. I got this like a couple of years ago. This is like one of the first sports bras I got when I started dancing. The reason I don't wear it is because it's a tie neck and that's a bit risky when you're doing dancing. It's quite flattering so we'll keep it. Going on to leggings I suppose. First of all these black seamless ones. These are my favourite black leggings. They're just really comfy. They feel like you're wearing a cushion. So these ones are going to stay. These ones are some like purple ones. All my lower leggings are Gymshark because they're like one of the only legging brands I trust. I'm going to keep these ones. These are a good staple. They are a little bit tight but what can you do? Bodies change, so do I. These ones are a pretty cool colour. These are their seamless. These are pretty cool because they're very bright, but also what I like about them, for them being such a light colour, they actually aren't see-through, which is absolutely perfect. We love the coverage. We love to see it. So obviously these are the same. These ones are the same leggings from like the original design. These aren't the energy seamless ones. These are old Gymshark and you can tell by how crap this is. And they're going to stay because they're a handy stable piece. These ones are some pebble ones. As you can see, this is, I like colours a lot <laughs> and you can see those here. These ones haven't ripped yet but these are very old generation Gymshark so their time is definitely coming. We're going to hold out a bated breath and see how long they last but I don't think they have long left in their time span. These ones, I have a love-hate relationship with these ones. These ones are, as you can see, bright pink. But for me personally, they are absolutely see-through. If you're someone who wears thongs, absolutely go for it. If I wore thongs, I could commit to these. I think they're see-through. They're probably not to anyone else. I love these. These are um, some warm-up joggers, right? They're really ugly but they were a pound and they are English National Ballet just warm up sweats so they're gonna stay so we're gonna just quickly do like a time lapse of me putting all this stuff back in my drawers and then we will move on to the sweatpants <laughs> Okay, we put everything away, so we're just gonna move on to this next drawer. These are some Adidas ones, your yeah, average Adidas ones. Got these off a of Depop, very cheap. The ankle strips on joggers for dancers is like the equivalent of doing floor work with a scooter being wrapped around your ankle and slashing it repeatedly. Very painful, but this is good for lounging around, so we will keep them. Next, we have some joggers, like to call them mermaid joggers. These are some Adidas ones. They're kind of like iridescent. They're very cool, and they're also very thick, so they're not a stable we'll dance. We're keeping those. These are just some plain black ones from Gymshark. These ones are very comfortable. They're just like a cotton vibe. They're very good for throwing over a leotard for ballet, which is very handy. They're like the only ones that don't have a zip at the bottom, so they're like the best ones I have for dance class. Next I have these Elise ones. They're very funky actually. They're just white. They look like ski style pets and they feel very thick but they also have the same issue as most of the other joggers where they have a zip on the ankle. They're not very suitable for dance but they are very comfy so I will keep them. I will be getting rid of these ones. I've kind of grown out of, not like grown out of these but grown out of style. They're very high waisted which is cool but like because the sweatband bit is so thick you get so hot during a class like you don't ventilate properly and also I never pick these out to wear around the house so. We've had a lighting change. Thank you UK. Next we have the physio stuff. Yeah, this is this is a lot. This is um very overwhelming. Basically, this is where I throw a bunch of shorts and stuff that I no longer wear that are suitable for physio. Physio is just something I do in the mornings to help my joints mobilise, especially if I don't have a dance class. I have to do a lot of physio in the morning to make sure that my EDS doesn't kick my ass during the day. And it works. To be fair, I forgot I had these, therefore I'm going to donate these actually. These are just some night shorts. These are very short. I don't wear these shorts out at all because my literal hangs out of them. These ones will stay physio and plus they're limited edition and I love this colour. They'll stay for when I wear them around the house but you will never ever see me wear these. We have Aida shorts. These are probably my favourite shorts ever. They are so comfy. They are men's and they're basketball shorts so they're the right length which is perfect. Next we have an old mountain survivor shirt which I probably should get more use out of because some of my other physio shirts are just manky at this point. These are just two vest tops which I guess are kind of handy for dance. Here we have some Carmenor. These are just some track pants. I find them quite thick. They're quite a sweaty material. They don't really breathe that well so we are just gonna part with these. This one's a tie-dye one. This one's very great. It's quite a sweaty material but it looks really cute. These are my old school's PE shorts. They're very handy but I did stretching and I kind of like ripped like the whole bit on the side here. It shouldn't be like that. It should be like that but I ripped like the whole thing doing the splits. But it's okay because now they have more mobility and I was just clearly altering the item to be better. Next I have this top here. These are just nice handy tops. I cropped them. I didn't want to get rid of them because I thought they were quite cool but at the same time, don't want to wear them out. So they retired to my physio drawer, as with most things in my closet. Um, I have nothing against this, but it's very old. It's literally bobbling. The whole thing is bobbled, like, entirely. I think it's time just to say goodbye to this shirt. It's been good. It's been real but the time is done. And these are some old ones. These ones will be staying. Time to put all this back inside because we have nothing else to do.
And that is done. Thank you all so much for joining me on this decluttering identity clusterfuck of a crisis. Go and have a look at my Depop if you guys are interested in buying any of this. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video of me clearing out my identity, basically, you can give it a nice big thumbs up and I will probably do this again soon when I have another identity crisis and you can always click subscribe to make sure that you are here when that happens. I will love you guys and leave you. Make sure you do something kind for yourself today. Make sure you do kind things for others today and be the change that you want to see in the world. Bye. Uh -huh. Whoa. Beep, 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 beep. Uh -huh.